I've been covering YouTube TV's multi-view feature from the start, so I thought this is an update that I owed you, and it's a pretty big one. Let me show you. I'm on the YouTube TV home screen, and I'm going to start by selecting a game that I want to watch. Then I'll scroll down and select Watch in Multi-View. Notice anything different here? Well, now for select programming, you can build a multi-view instead of scrolling through YouTube TV's often long list of pre-selected combos. Watch here. I'll click Build a Multi-View and preview the games that I can add to my multi-view. Now at the time I'm recording this video, Build a Multi-View is only for NBA League Pass and NCAA Basketball. YouTube TV says it's going to gradually expand it to other live sports in the coming months. Build a Multi-View is not the complete customization that a lot of people who've watched my previous videos have been asking for. You cannot select from any channel in YouTube TV's lineup. But Build a Multi-View does improve the user experience, since you're not scrolling through a long list of pre-selected multi-views. More details now. You can find Multi-View in several other places within the YouTube TV app, and that's when you're watching from a TV set. When a lot of games are airing live, I usually see Multi-View in the Top Picks for You section that's right at the top of the home screen. Then, further down the home screen, there's also the Watch in Multi-View section, this includes pre-selected streams for mainly sports, but also cable news, weather, and business channels. When you're scrolling through YouTube TV's live guide and select a game, you may also see the option to watch in multi-view. Here it is, you see it on this panel on the right side of the screen. Multi-view lets you watch between two and four live streams on a single screen. And once in multi-view, you can adjust the audio. See that white border? Well, that's the live stream you're going to hear audio from, and you can just use the directional pad on your remote to change the audio sources. To go full screen with one live stream, select OK on your remote. The live feed with that white border around it, it'll be taken full. And then you can always just return to multi-view by clicking back on your remote. Watch this. While in multi-view, I click the down arrow on my remote, and there are these additional options and settings. This includes the ability to turn on captions for one or more of the multi-view sources. This settings menu is also a quick place for you to change your multi-view without having to retrace all of your steps. And finally, once you're ready to exit multi-view altogether, click back on your remote and you'll be taken to where you started. In my case, that's the home screen. These changes to multi-view come as YouTube TV is rolling out updates to improve picture quality also a setting to decrease the broadcast TV delay. And now when you're watching TV, you can return to the last channel. Just press and hold select or OK on your remote. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. My name is Michael and I thank you for watching.